In this video, I want to talk about why certain people get oxalate kidney stones and others don't. An oxalate is a certain chemical that combines with calcium that then has the capacity to form these little crystals in your kidneys. And there are certain foods high in oxalates like spinach, beet greens, Swiss chard, peanuts, and there's a, quite a few others. But the question is, there's a lot of people consuming these foods and they don't get kidney stones, and other people consume them and they do get kidney stones. Well, there is a, a microbe, a very special microbe in your gut that has the capacity to break down oxalates. Okay? It's called oxalobacter formagens. So it can break down and remove oxalates from the body. And take a wild guess what will destroy this microbe. You guessed it, antibiotics especially Cipro, which just happens to be the most widely used antibiotic in the world. The problem is when people take Cipro, there's also a lot of other side effects as well. And I just want to talk about this as a side note because so many people are taking this. It actually has a black box warning uh, of tendon ruptures, okay? So you get increased risk of rupturing your tendon. So if you're an athlete, for example, you're more susceptible to rupture of the Achilles tendon, which is right in the, right, the connecting your calf to your heel. Now in 2018, they added two additional uh, side effects on the black box warning, hypoglycemia and mental problems. So you really have to start reading the side effects of some of these things and maybe do a natural alternative. If you are getting oxalate kidney stones on a regular basis, you may want to start taking a good probiotic, okay? But there's another thing you can take to get some immediate relief. And there's a certain natural remedy. You can look it up. I'm not going to recommend any specific brands, but you can just find out what works for you. But it's called hydroxy citrate. This is a really good remedy to help break down oxalate stones as well as uric acid crystal stones. But in the meantime, I highly recommend uh, researching a good probiotic so you can start fortifying your body and hopefully decrease the risk for kidney stones. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?